Hi there everyone, this is Allie Rogers and Dreen with an updated uh, description of Invitation Teeter Totter, my uh, collaborative installation in the Art South uh, container, uh, which is on display here in the Soma District, uh, South Main, in downtown Fort Worth. You can kind of see all around me. Whee! Okay, uh, so I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll get started. Okay, just like before, we are standing in front of a large shipping container that's about 20 feet wide, 10 feet deep, 10 feet tall. Um, the outside of the shipping container is painted bright pink, kind of a pastel bright pink, and the inside, the back wall, is painted white, and the floor is painted, the concrete floor, is painted uh, gray. Um, so, we're looking at the window. We're looking at the windows right now, and um, there is black signage that reads Invitation Teeter Totter, Allie Rogers Andreen, at Allie Explosion, which is my Instagram handle. But all around it now are the signatures of all the people that came to the uh, opening and contributed to the sculpture. And they are signed in a kind of chalk pen that's resting on the glass, and so we have green and blue and pink and yellow and some people signed their names and some people did a little more than that. We have Charles Gray's face up here um, and we have a lovely uh, drawing and I'm not even sure what it is but I love it. Um, and we have something right here that reads 4G, best car in the world to race in. Thank you so much. Um, we have a is for art in pink. All sorts of different messages from all the different people who graced us with their presence and were kind enough to add to the sculpture. Um, and oh my gosh, y'all, from the outside it is chaos inside here. Um, most notably, the floor, while it's painted gray, is now covered in shiny and colorful handmade confetti. There are little puffs of uh, tulle, uh, like netted fabric, that are individually sewn into little puff balls. And some of those are gold and white and uh, teal and pink. So they kind of float around. And then all around it is uh, scraggly bits of paper in uh, kind of a seafoam green and coral. Uh, there are puff balls <laughs> that are bright pink and neon green and purple. Uh, and there's lots of stringy, metallic, just crazy chaos going on on the floor. You can tell I love chaos. Um, and then from the outside, the wood planks that I had hung before are now positively dripping with all kinds a fascinating miniature sculptures. People have taken what looks like yarn and dowel rods and brightly colored zip ties and let's see, wire and plastic lanyards and made little sculptures out of them and then they've hung them all over the sculpture. And no matter where you look and no matter where you stand, there's something different to see. And there are places in the sculpture where some of the confetti has caught on top while people were tossing it. So it just makes the whole thing kind of shimmer and shine. And now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go inside. All right, and now we're back inside and I bet it sounds a lot more echoey um, while I'm inside. And you can hear my feet crunching on the confetti below. I'm kind of taking a shot of that and my feet swishing through it. And I guess I'll do just like a little narrative of me walking through this. Um, immediately, I almost bumped into this lovely whimsical little sculpture. It's a wooden dowel rod and it's wrapped in uh, white fuzzy pipe cleaners. And then from those pipe cleaners are these little curly twirly dark green wires and they're just hanging ever so gently 
from that. And as soon as I touched it, everything started to wiggle, which is the best. So it's all, everything is just hung by hooks in here. Hooks and, you know, by the grace of God. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try hard not to touch anything too hard, but it's also kind of lovely that it's not hooked in place. Right here I'm playing with what kind of looks like a weird, weird, weird coat hanger. Um, <laughs> it's a stick painted blue and pink, and it has a whole bunch of orange and yellow and pink zip ties hanging from it, and lots of curly, twirly wire. It almost looks like someone has taken a pencil and drawn into the air, just lots of wiggle squiggles, and then they stayed there for us to see. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to walk through here without bumping things, that's fun. Taking a few steps forward, now I have encountered, I mean, like a rat's nest, it's wonderful. <laughs> and again, it's, it's um, lots of brightly painted sticks hanging from other sticks. This one, there's lots of uh, squiggly red and green paper confetti that has kind of become intermeshed with everything else. Someone made kind of a wire grid and that is acting almost like a net and it's just captured lots of other things. And then over here, oh my goodness, hanging in this little cage of yellow yarn, someone found a toy dinosaur and put that inside. Oh my goodness, and the dinosaur is kind of green and purple and he's facing outside so he gets to see all the beautiful pink planters and people enjoying their lunches. And I'm moving deeper, deeper inside. And it's just, it's like a, being in a forest, like a Dr. Seuss forest, uh, full of all sorts of wonderful contraptions made by all of my collaborators. I am so thankful that all of these families came, families and friends and random people off the street came to contribute to this. Here we have, it's kind of a ball of yarn with dowels poking all out of it. Ooh, and it, it wobbles to and fro. Collaboration is a really beautiful thing, um, and we don't get to do it very often with the art that we see in galleries and museums, and there's a good reason for that. You know, we want the art to be safe, um, and we want people to be safe for that matter. Um, and we want the art to stay around for a long time, and if it gets damaged, you know, it can't be shown anymore. But the beauty of this is that, like, you can't really damage it. It's already weird looking. Um, so everybody gets to make their contribution and feel good and feel comfortable. Um, and that's kind of where the art exists. You know, we got to spend the afternoon playing with one another. And then hopefully as people walk by this weird sculpture. We have a family playing over there on the lawn. Hopefully people feel like they're part of the game when they walk by. Um, and maybe not, but my, that's, that's my hope. We have another dinosaur friend over here. He almost looks like he's parachuting down. Let me see if I can focus. There you are. Hello. I don't know where the dinosaurs came from, but I think it's oddly perfect that they've shown up here. And I'm gonna take one last view through that tangled mess, back out the door. Thank you for coming on this journey with me, everybody. Please feel free to come by, see the installation. It's closed for collaborators now, but if you wanna take pictures and send them to me, or send me a little note, or if you want to do something like this in your neck of the woods, let me know. I'm always down to party. Have a great day.